Today we are going to learn about syllabication. This process is useful for helping to decode or figure out what a word says. It is important to remember that when stopping to decode a word, once we know what it says or think we've figured it out, we return to the beginning of the sentence and reread. This is part of the monitor and clarify comprehension strategy in which we check for understanding. Syllabication means that we break a word apart into syllables. Each syllable will have at least one vowel. Remember that the vowels are A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. For example, if we were unable to read this word, we would first identify and count the vowels. There are two vowels in this word so we will predict that there are two syllables. We will look to break this word apart somewhere between the C, K, and P. Since CK is a digraph, two letters that come together to make one sound, we cannot split the C and the K up. Therefore, we will divide the word into syllables between the first CK and the P. We will read the first syllable back, and then the second syllable, pack. Finally, we'll read the entire word, backpack. Let's review the process of syllabication. When attempting to decode a word, we start by identifying and counting the vowels. It is helpful to number them as we go so we can make our prediction for how many syllables there will be. Then we decide where to break the word into parts. Next, we read the word. If it sounds like a familiar real word, we'll read it within the sentence, if there is one, to check. Let's try a word with more advanced sounds. How many vowels are there? Do any of the vowels work together? Even if we don't know for sure, since the I and the O are next to each other, let's proceed as if they need to stay together. We can always make adjustments later. With three standalone vowels and one vowel team, our prediction is that there will be four syllables. Keeping in mind that each syllable needs to have at least one vowel, we are now tasked with splitting the word into parts. Sometimes this takes a little trial and error. If we split the word like this, we will read it as po pull a shun population. Does that word sound familiar? Let's try it another way. Pop, you, lay, shun, population. How does that sound? Is population a real word? It is. Let's revisit the process of syllabication. First, we need to identify the vowels and decide whether they are working alone or in vowel teams. When we count, each vowel team is counted as one. It is helpful to number each standalone vowel and vowel team as we go so we can make our prediction for how many syllables there will be. Then, we decide where to break the word into parts. Next, we read the word. If it sounds like a familiar real word, we'll read it within the sentence, if there is one, to check. We will make adjustments as needed, repeating any of the previous steps. For more practice, refer to this process.